I hope that you'll consider what the work that's been done here in Beaufort as, as kind of a benchmark for, for other things and a template that you can use in other locations. It's twofold, right? Uh, you're, you're cleaning up the waterways, but this is a public health issue. And I, I actually add a third. Isn't this good for commerce? Wouldn't people want to come to Beaufort to, to a clean water coastal community? And the answer is clearly yes. To undertake a project like this, first you need to understand the extent of the problem. So collecting data on the problem, understanding how much debris there is and what the risk is to the environment and people, and then knowing how many resources you need to address that problem. We couldn't do a project like this without great partnerships. And I think we have the best example of a partnership working well in the Beaufort area with this project. We have the Coastal Reserve and its Protected Nature Reserve, which is used as an outdoor laboratory and an outdoor classroom. And we have overlapping waters um, with the jurisdiction of the town of Beaufort. So we're both invested in the issue for a lot of the same reasons. We're both passionate about keeping our environment beautiful and clean and available for public use. This project showed how local organizers could reach out within the community and find various stakeholders that had unique talents and skill sets to take an idea and make it a viable project. And that's what Beaufort did here. When the reserve came to me and wanted me to get involved with this project, I said, not only are we gonna get involved from the operations side, but we're gonna get involved on the money side too. In return, we matched a lot of money uh, to help pull this off because this was a big project. It's been really fun to work with NOAA on this project because our students can pick up small pieces of debris, but as the larger abandoned derelict vessels and other pieces that our students can't pick up but that we all see when we walk on the beaches or walk in downtown Beaufort, this partnership allows greater resources to take some of those out and actually clean up our beaches from some of the bigger things that we as individual citizens can't do. The risk and dangers involved in a project like this are kind of at every stage. You've got guys underneath the water working. You're taking an item that is decomposing, so it's not as structurally intact. So when it comes up, something may break and separate. And then once you successfully get it to the surface, then you have to get it ashore. And the towing operation of towing a partially submerged boat or towing a piece of a boat presents its own risk. Then when you go shoreside trying to crane this out, and a lot of these vessels, if you can just imagine in your head that it's, it's like wet cardboard. So when you go to take the load, it kind of settles in the straps and, and moves on you a little bit. And then you have to go through the dismantling and uh, disposing of it. And some of the derelict vessels and big pieces can pollute, right? So rubber over time, those smaller pieces of plastic can break up into smaller pieces of plastic and that can enter our food chain. Getting rid of the bigger pieces not only improves the beauty of the area, but also decreases the probability that any of the pollutants will break up and enter our food chain in the ocean. Vessels are a problem for people, they're a problem for the water, and they're a problem for our wildlife. I've got two little kids. They like to swim and play on the island over there. I don't want them getting cut up on debris. There's a lot of families that are using these shorelines and using these waters. We've been extremely pleased. We had no idea that we'd be this successful uh, this short a time into the project. We've removed thousands of pounds of, of debris as well as some abandoned vessels. Uh, we're already starting to hear positive comments from our community and the boating community. Well, a large part of this is the education. Uh, just making sure that they, they understand sometimes marine debris can be out of sight, out of mind, but it doesn't mean that it's not there, it doesn't mean that it's not impacting us. We want to bring the public out to the Nature Reserve, out to the Rachel Carson Reserve, and have them participate in marine debris cleanups, have them invested as a part of, of the project so that they understand marine debris issues better, and will go home and think about perhaps the products that they're using that can um, contribute to marine debris. 
Start at home securing your debris in the proper way, making sure it's not overflowing in your recycling bin. Think about the things that you use in your home, and instead of putting those vegetables in a plastic bag at the grocery store, try just putting them in a reusable bag, and then you won't have to worry about that bag getting away from you. You've got the federal level, you've got the state level, you've got the municipal level, and you've got commercial entities, and you've got academic entities that are, that are involved as well. And this is all part of a, a clean water coastal community.